Hello friends. In the previous video, we discussed how to read temperature and humidity values from DST22 sensor using Node MCU board. In this video, we will discuss how to create a channel on the ThinkSpeak server. Further, we will send temperature and humidity values to the ThinkSpeak server to analyze and visualize our data. Open URL thinkspeak.com and you will get this screen. If you are using it for the first time, you have to sign up. In my case, I am going to log in. Once you are logged in, you will see this screen. Click on the new channel button. Give your channel a name. Let's call it DST22-NodeMCU. Now let's define field 1 as temperature. You need to click on the checkbox for field 2. Let's call it humidity. That is all we need. The rest of the fields are optional. You can use them as per your need and the fields are self-explanatory. Scroll down and click on the save channel and your channel is created. At the moment, there is no data. So charts are empty. Your channel ID is at the top. Let's copy it. We need to use it in our code. Next tab is of public view. This channel is not public at the moment, but you can always make your channel as public if you wish to. Next is channel settings. This is the same form which we just filled. On the right hand side, you can find the detailed description of every field. Next tab is sharing. Here you have the options to make your channel either public or share it with the specific users. By default, it is a private channel. Next tab is of API keys. You will find write and read API keys under this tab. In case you feel that your keys have been compromised, you can always click on generate new write API key or generate new read API key. It will generate new keys for you. Now let me copy the right API key and paste it in the notepad. We will be needing it in our code. On the right hand side, you can find API requests to update a channel feed, get a channel feed, get a channel field and get channel status updates. The last tab is of data import and export. Here. You can import data to your channel or export data from your channel. So this is in brief about creating a channel on the ThinkSpeak server. In the next video, we will proceed with our code to send temperature and humidity data on the ThinkSpeak channel. Thank you. Before you leave, I would request you to please like the video and subscribe my channel. After you subscribe, do click the bell icon to get the notifications about my latest videos. Thank you so much.